Hey guys, welcome you and all. Today we are going to learn the trick for remembering all the parameters of a tuple network. Let's start. Here you can see tuple network is shown. It has primary side and secondary side. In primary side your i1 and v1 is there. Or you can say v1 i1 and in secondary side your v2 and i2 is there. So let's see what is the trick. This is the trick, this figure. Here we can see v1 and i1 is written in the primary side or left hand side and secondary side is v2 and i2. So we will see the trick. We will draw a horizontal line from v1 to v2 and i1 to i2 then vertical line from v1 to i1, v2 to i2 and then diagonally. But in diagonally and in other also please see the arrow of the direction of arrow. We have to go from v1 to i2 and then means main diagonal and then this is off diagonal in matrix. So let's see what is the trick and your this first indicator will be representing the z parameter just opposite to it will be representing the y parameter then in 3 means in horizontal left hand uh, sorry vertical left hand side it will be representing abcd parameter and in just opposite 4 will be representing your inverse abcd parameter then main diagonal will be representing your h and other diagonal will be representing your g parameter so let's see let's see in the figure in first we can see that v1 and i1 sorry v1 and v2 this is our first so we will write this in left hand side so v1 and v2 have written and it will be equal to z11 plus z12 and z21 z22 this thing in matrix form so you, you all know about matrix so no problem so let's see v1 and v2 have written in lhs that is this and i1 and i2 we will write in rhs hand sign and exactly same means first we will write i1 and then i2 so see first i1 we have written and then i2 and please keep in mind that this i1 i1 will be same for and this i2 i2 will be same means whatever it will have value here same it will be here also in every parameter you can see v1 and v1 v2 v2 here also v1 v1 so like that so let's see this is v1 equal to z11 plus sorry z11 into what is this i1 plus z12 into i2 and then v2 equal to z21 into i1 plus z22 into i2 similarly we can see for y parameter also y parameter of i1 and i2 will be in primary side and in secondary side your matrix form will come so y11 into v1 plus y12 into v2 and i2 equal to y21 into v1 plus y22 into v2 now let's see for abcd parameters abcd parameter is also known as transmitter parameter you know already then let's see v1 and i1 will come in lhs and side see this there then v1 equal to a into v2 minus b into i2 minus is because in case of transmission parameter the secondary side current is coming in negative direction means opposite to i1 that's why it's minus so in abcd and inverse abcd you have to remember always that this last part will be minus see here also and here also. this you have to remember then yeah i1 means yeah here yeah. i1 equal to your c because we have already taken a b and c d this is so simple c into v2 and then minus b into i2 so you have seen now let's see for a inverse matrix inverse means inverse transmission parameter let's see here it is y2 and i2 will be coming in lhs and side so let's see v2 sorry why not y2 sorry v2 v2 equal to a dash into what is this v1 minus b dash will come and minus is because of opposite you already know b1 will come b1 sorry b dash into i1 and i2 i2 equal to c dash into v1 minus b dash into i1 so it's so simple now let's see for other remaining two parameters let's see let's see this is your remaining part means h parameter and g parameter in case of h parameter please 
keep in your mind we will always come in main diagonal form in h parameter so let's see b1 and a2 will be in primary side it's already there then h11 h12 h21 h22 you already know then i1 means this is coming for h so this will be for g and please go in from this to this so i1 will come in first and v2 will come in last so i1 is in first and v2 is in last then last is your inverse h or you can say g parameter or inverse hybrid parameter so see here here we are going in this direction so i1 and v2 will be in primary side and your v1 and i2 will be in secondary side v1 and i2. please keep the keep in your mind the sequence of arrow so v1 and v2 i2 is coming in the secondary side so thanks for watching the video for more useful and use helpful video please like and subscribe to us you can see the link also thank you very much for more videos please subscribe to us